Uh, hello viewers, welcome to my channel. Uh, today's topic is uh, schwannoma, you know, or uh, uh, also known as the peripheral uh, nerve tumors, you know. Uh, but before starting this topic, I would like to request you to like, subscribe and share these videos. And if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition, you can visit my website and the link of the website is just below in the description area just below this video, you know. And to subscribe this channel, you can click the red button just below this video. Uh, and don't forget to uh, click the like uh, uh, bell icon, you know. So what does it mean is that you will be notified whenever I you know, upload the new videos, you know. Now I come to the topic. You know, it's a type of... Uh, the nerve tumor of the nerve sheath so it's the most common type of uh, uh, benign peripheral nerve tumor in adults you know and uh, it can occur anywhere in your body and uh, it can occur at any age you know so there is no specific age group or any uh, specific location you know, it can occur anywhere you know and uh, schwannoma is uh, typically comes from a single bundle uh, within the main nerve and uh, uh, it displaces the rest of the nerves you know so when the schwannoma grows larger uh, the more like uh, 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 fascicles are affected you know and uh, making removal more difficult and in general uh, it grows slowly uh, and if you develop this condition in an arm or in the leg uh, you may notice like uh, a painless lump, you know. And uh, uh, the schwannomas are, uh, are rarely cancerous. So most of the time they are benign, you know, non-cancerous. But they can lead to nerve damage and uh, loss of muscle control, you know. And uh, you need to see your doctor if you uh, have any unusual lump or numbness, you know. So... The best thing is that you see your doctor, you know, for the evaluation. To diagnose, uh, your doctor may ask you about the signs and the symptoms, and he will discuss the medical history uh, with the patient, you know. And he will perform the general physical examination and the neurological examination as well. And if the signs is just that uh, uh, you would have this nerve tumor, you know, or any other nerve tumor, you know, uh, your doctor may recommend the other diagnostic tests, which may include like uh, MRI, you know, and uh, uh, maybe CT scan or maybe electromyogram, you know, or maybe nerve conduction study, maybe the biopsy of the tumor, you know, and maybe nerve biopsy, you know. Now, in case of the magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, uh, uh, Radio waves are used to produce uh, the detailed uh, 3D image, you know. And uh, uh, of that nerve and the surroundings as well. So in that case, a doctor are, uh, can view uh, those tumors in a better way, you know. Now, the next test is the CT scan is a normal imaging test, you know. And the EMG, which is also known as the electromyogram. Uh, your doctor places a small needles in your muscles uh, and the purpose is uh, 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 that electromyography instrument can record the electrical activities in your muscles as you try to move it, you know. And the next thing is the nerve conduction study. And in this test, uh, you are likely to have uh, like uh, along with the... Uh, uh, electromyogram you know so both mostly your doctor will uh, order these two tests together you know and uh, it measures uh, how quickly your nerves carry the electrical signals you know to your muscles okay so this is important as to you know uh, in case of the tumor biopsy uh, if the imaging tests uh, uh, identify a nerve tumor then your doctor will remove a piece uh, from the tumor and it send it, send it to lab to see uh, uh, under the microscope you know so is this uh, cancerous or it's non-cancerous you know and uh, the nerve biopsy is the same procedure where the 
uh, it will the nerve uh, if you have a condition such as uh, like progressive uh, a peripheral neuropathy you know or maybe enlarged nerves that mimic the nerve uh, like uh, uh, nerve tumors your doctor may take a nerve biopsy as well you know to see um, uh, the status of the tumor you know now once diagnosed then what are the treatment options you know you know there are few things that you can do the first thing is uh, uh, the treatment depends on where the abnormal growth is located and whether it's causing any pain or it's growing quickly you know and the treatment options may include like monitoring or maybe surgery maybe radiation therapy or maybe uh, like uh, uh, like uh, stereotactic uh, uh, radio surgery you know you know monitoring means that uh, your doctor may uh, suggest uh, like observing your condition over the time you know and uh, observation may include like uh, regular checkups and the regular tests like CT scan and MRI uh, every few months to see if the tumor is growing you know and the surgery is uh, uh, like uh, you know it will be performed by an experienced neurosurgeon you know because it's complicated one you know so neurosurgeon can remove the tumor if it's causing uh, pain or if it's uh, growing quickly you know and uh, surgery is done under the general anesthesia and depending on the location of the tumor uh, some patients can go home on the same day you know and others may need to stay in the hospital for one or two days okay and uh, uh, you know even though if it's uh, surgery is successful you know there is a chance that the tumor will come back you know at some stage the next thing is radiation therapy you know as the radiation therapy is used to help control the tumor growth and to improve the symptoms and uh, it may be used uh, in combination with the surgery you know uh, to stop the recurrence you know and the stereotactic surgery uh, radio surgery is uh, uh, when the tumor is near uh, like any white vital nerves or the blood vessels you know in that case a technique which is called stereotactic body radiation therapy it may be used uh, to limit uh, the damage to the healthy tissues you know and uh, with this technique uh, doctors deliver the radiation uh, very precisely to a tumor uh, without making any kind of incision you know okay so these are the treatment options once uh, uh, someone is diagnosed with uh, uh, like uh, uh, this uh, condition you know uh, thank you very much for watching this video if you need more information about any disease or any medical condition you can visit my website which is www.diseasesandtreatment.com and please do not forget to subscribe this channel for more information um, about any disease or any medical condition. Thank you very much for watching this video. Goodbye.